Good morning. Good morning, Oman. So today we're going to the Grand Mosque of Oman and we're running late. I totally forgot that. It's not your fault. It's no one's well, fault. I kind of forgot that it closes at 11. It's after 10, right? Yeah. It's going to be a quick run through of the mosque. All right, guys, we made it to the mosque. Yes. We have this about... is <laughs> We have about maybe 45 minutes before it closes. So we're gonna go in and grab tickets and get as much footage as possible. And so, really just try to enjoy it, right? Yeah, so before we go in, the mosque is open from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. to non-Muslims. Um, after that it closes and you have to be fully covered. And uh, from what I understand, this is the only mosque in Oman that allows non-Muslims non to visit. So as soon as you walk in, you're pretty much struck with just how big this place is. At the distance, you see the dome of the mosque, then you see the towers, and it's, oh man, the landscaping is awesome here. The flowers, the waterfall, the waterfall, as you can see behind us, and it's a straight walk towards the mosque. And what a beautiful day to it's be here, beautiful. right? beautiful. I wish we came earlier so we could really spend some time here. Ah, uh, we'll have enough time. So here we are at the mosque and this would be the entrance. But let me uh, widen the lens a little bit. Look at this. This is beautiful, guys. Alright, let's go in. It's almost like artwork. All the designs, yes. the columns, the, the archways, the flooring, the tiles, it's all so well put together. It's just absolutely breathtaking. This that place movie. is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look what we're staring at. So it's 11 a.m. and everyone is leaving. They're taking down the ropes behind us yes. and escorting everyone out. So we're on our way out also. So we were just talking to a local and he informed us that it took how many people? 3,000 3, workers. Workers to sew this carpet together. Uh huh. And it took three years. Can you imagine that? And it's the largest carpet in the world. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh my gosh. So now what they're doing is taking on all the ropes. They're going to take up this blue tarp. And they're doing so for the worshippers to come in and pray. Yes. It starts like 11 sharp. Alright 
We yeah. didn't rehearse that. <laughs> we did not. We arrived here at the Royal Opera House and I'm so excited to go inside because it is gorgeous. It's supposed to be very beautiful inside. The architectural work is supposed to be one of a kind. Um, we, you can come in and actually view the, uh, the, the, main the, hall. the main hall and the theater. And they do have uh, tours that you can book. Um, yeah, just go online, book a tour if you're into that. If not, you can just go explore by yourself. Yep. There's also cafes, restaurants, you gotta to, grab a bite to eat. Yep, spend a few hours. And then, yeah, yeah, exactly like yep. what you're doing. So we're just gonna go in, explore, I can't wait to see it. It's, uh, and it's normally not closed. From what I started March 5th until further notice. Yeah, we had no idea. So. We've been driving by this place saying, oh, we're going to go visit the Opera yeah, House. Yeah, for about a week. <laughs> for about a week. And not knowing it has been closed. Yeah, I didn't hear any announcements online or anything like that. Don't know why, yeah. but... Oh my God, I just got a peek when that man opened the door. It's beautiful inside, huh? I'm going to kick ourselves in the head when we leave here. Can I kick you first? Well, Alright guys. So we got something else in mind now. So we're gonna go back to our stay, pack our bags, and we're going to head to a traditional market called I think it's called the Mutra Soup. Yes, and they have everything under the sun there and we want to Yay! check it out. Alright guys, we made it to the market. It seems very quiet in the city. It seems like everything as you can see behind us is closed, all the gates are down. I I didn't read online that the market opened at a specific time, so I'm not sure maybe this evening more shops will be open. Yeah. Um, it just seems like everything here I, I, there no one there's no one out. It's Wednesday, so it's not like there's a religious holiday or anything like that. So I'm a little confused at the moment, but <laughs> But it does seem like there are a lot of foreigners up ahead of us like going into different uh, buildings so that might be the market area that's open now but right now out here super quiet, it's very quiet. almost <laughs> desolate everything is closed up but uh all right let's go in here and see what's going on we're gonna do as much filming as we can because yeah we've heard that filming the money people is a no-no right, and you have to ask to permission exactly. but uh we'll see so we're here, we're about to go into these uh, into this building. And here we are. Oh, this is where everyone is. So we are done at the market and now we're walking along the waterway where the ships come in and the restaurants on the right side. It's pretty nice here. A lot of seagulls. Yes. I think people come to feed the seagulls and they feed the fish because uh, at one point there were tons of fish just like swarming up to grab a piece of bread and the seagulls were swarming around. It was pretty. And the weather is fantastic. It's like 75 degrees, which is yeah. nice. I gotta say, since I've been in Oman, I haven't seen one cloud in the sky. Every day it's all blue skies, all sun, and yet it's not scorching hot.
That was so much fun. The yeah, gentleman yeah. was so nice to give us some bread. It's so funny because we're walking and we <laughs> see this guy like feeding the seagulls. So I run over to get some good shots, and sure enough, he passes us some bread so a we can feed too. Yeah, a lot, oh like two big pieces of bread. I was Ooh. like, mm, I should have a bite. <laughs> <laughs> The Omani people are so, so, friendly. so friendly and kind. They are awesome, man. I, Ooh, I like you know, dress. I've heard, I've heard of it, the hospitality, but this is like by far very well. It, it, it's, it's, it's in your face. I wish you were staying here longer. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Kenny and I truly appreciate your support. And if you are new to our channel and are enjoying our content, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when the next video is up. Thanks again.